Let's have number seven. 10 multiplied by 3 and 23. 3 and 2, 3 rather. Multiplied by 5 and 1, 6. equals 10 times 1. You may copy class, ha? please do copy, please do copy. 3 times 3 is it's 9 plus 2, it's 11. Again, another given mixed number. Let's make it into improper fraction by simply multiplying and adding 6 times 5, it's 30 plus 1, 31 over 6. And then check numbers. If there are numbers to be simplified on this example, we have 10 and 6, right? 10 and 6. Okay, good. By 2, dividing both by 2. 10 divided by 2, it's 5. And 6 divided by 2, it's 3. Are there numbers? Pa? Aside from that, is it 11? We cannot divide 11. Okay, good. 31 also. Okay. Now, let's multiply. 5 times 11 times 31. It's 55 times 31. Let's multiply. 55 times 31. So 5, 5, 15, 7, 0, 5, 1. It's 1,705 divided by 3 times 3 here. It's 9 equals... Let's divide. Let's manually divide this one. 1,705 divided by 9. So 9, 18, it's only 1. 9, subtract 8. We cannot divide 8 by 9. We need to bring down 0. 80, 80 divided by 9, it's not 9. It's only 8. 8 times 9, it's 72. Subtract 8, bring down 5 because we cannot divide 8 alone. 85 divided by 9, it's 9. 9 times 9, it's 81. And we have a remainder of 4. Therefore, the answer is 189. And 4 over 9. Copy the denominator 9. The correct answer for number 7 is 189 and 4 ninths. Please copy. This will serve as your reviewer for your second summative test to be scheduled on. That is scheduled on Monday. Please copy. Can you please do copy. Next, let's move to number eight. Number eight. 
with three fourths multiplied by two and one half multiplied by six. Then equal sign is like the capital letter on your sentence. It should be written on the left. So copy three fourths times. Let's make this one improper form. So two times two, four plus one, five. Five over two and then times six, then the natin over one. Okay, so that you will not be confused with the whole number. Okay, let's check numbers. If there are numbers to be simplified, this time it's six and four, right? Six and four. Or six and two. It's up to you. Okay, again, you can simplify six and four. Or six and two. Okay. So let's choose six and four by dividing both by two. Six divided by two, it's three. Four divided by two, it's two. So let's proceed now to multiplication of numerators and denominators. Three times five, it's 15. Times three, it's 45. Two times two, four times one, it's four equals. Let's divide 45 divided by four, it's 11, right? It will give us 44 as our product, tama? And then subtract lang natin. 44 minus, subtract 44 from 45. Tap. We will have a remainder of 1 and then copy denominator. Four. If you want a solution to this one, it will be like this. 45 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Multiply. And then subtract. Bring down 5. One again, multiply, four, and then one. There. The quotient will serve as your whole number. And then remainder will serve as your numerator. Okay. Please copy, class. Please copy. Next, let's move to number nine. Clear to na class ha? Clear. Let's move to number nine. Four and two-thirds. Multiplied by five and one-eighth. Multiplied by nine and five over six. Equal. Improper fraction. 3 times 4, it's 12 plus 2, 14. 8 times 5, it's 40 plus 1, 41. Copy denominator. Eight. Let's multiply again. 6 times 9, it's 54 plus 5, 
nine. Copy the denominator two. Now, let's check numbers. If there are numbers to be simplified. So, let's check. Is it 14 and 8? Yes, you can, we can simplify 14 and 8. Pwede rin po 14 and 6. Pwede rin 14 and 6. Okay, it's up to you where, which do you want to simplify. So let's choose na lang 8 and 14. So by dividing both by 2 again. So 14 divided by 2, it's 7. 8 divided by 2, I 4. Next, there are no numbers not to simplify. Therefore, we need to multiply. So, 41 multiply natin by 7. So, 7, 28. Multiply din natin by 59. Three. Six to nine times eight, it's seventy two plus six, seventy eight. Nine, eighteen, twenty five. Five, fourteen, three, four. Three, three, nine, six, and one. Am I correct, class? Multiply. Ito yan na, 41. Ito po yan na, 41 times ko sa 7. And yung product to that, multiplied by 59. So for this one, it's 16,933. Let's divide that by three times four, it's twelve times six. Twelve times six, it's seventy two, right? 12 times 6 is 72. Now let's divide. Divide natin. You have to show your solutions uh, on your test. Always show your solution. So please provide a clean sheet of paper or you may use your notebook, your mathematics notebook for your solutions or else it will not be recorded. So 16,933 divided by 72. 
Let's divide. We cannot divide 16. Let's get 9. So it's 169 divided by 72. It's 2. Let's subtract. Bring down 3. It's 3 again. So 3 divided by, yeah, Arkin, let's check if your answer is correct. So 3, 6, 21, 7, 3. Bring down. 3 again because we cannot divide 37 alone. So 373 divided by 72. So is it 5? Yeah, it's 5. 5 times 2, it's 10. Carry 1. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1, 36. 7. Am I correct, Arkin? Is it seven here? Seven. Ay, sorry, sorry. Three pala. Three. Thirteen. Yeah, correct. Thirteen over seventy-two. So, for number nine, two hundred thirty-five. And thirteen over seventy-two is the correct answer. Okay, Arkin. Next, for number 10, sige, you may copy. I'll give you 10 seconds to copy. 10 seconds. Last, please copy half, please copy. Okay, let's move to number 10, 12 and one half. Multiplied by 24 and 5 over 8. So let's write equal sign. 12 times 2 or 2 times 12, it's 24 plus 1, 25. Copy the denominator, 2. Let's multiply 24 by 8, 2, 3, 8, 2, 192, plus 5, it's 197. Copy the denominator, 8. Are there numbers to be simplified? 25 and 8. Can we simplify 25 and 8? No, right? No. How about 
two and one hundred ninety seven. Hindi din po. Okay, therefore, we multiply natin to as is. 197, let's multiply that by 25. 7 times 5, it's 35. 3 here. 5 times 9, it's 45 plus 3. Kanina, 48. 5 plus Four, fourteen, nineteen, three. So five, two, nine, four. It's four thousand two hundred and rather nine hundred twenty five divided by sixteen. Okay, let's check. Let's divide. 4,925. Let's check, Arkin, if your answer is correct. Okay, let's divide that. Okay. 49 divided by 16. Yeah, correct. It's 3. Yeah, let's check, Danielle, if your answer is correct. Yeah, okay, Charles. Go. So eight forty eight one and then twelve. We cannot divide. We need to bring down five. Twelve divided by two. Yeah, correct. Seven forty two eleven. It's seven. Ah. I am going three pala. Okay, sorry, and one. Yes, correct. 307 and 13 over 16 is the correct answer. Yeah. Sino pang nakakuha ng correct answer aside from Yell and Arkin? And this is for number 10. Kian got disconnected. Kian and so it. Who else? Yes, correct. Raven also got the correct answer. Ah, okay. Charles pala, Charles. Now let's proceed to division. On the same page ng inyong book, page 25, test 2, let's use the whiteboard. Whiteboard tire. Okay. Let's divide now 4 over 5 divided by 3 fifths. Okay. Okay. We need to invert the second given fraction, right? Wait lang po.
Okay, let's invert. For fifth, ang i-invert po natin itong second given fraction ha. So, 5 over 3. Let's multiply and then check if there are numbers. 5, 1. So, this time it's 4 over 3. Or 1 and 1 third. Next, number two, 12. And please copy, class. Ha? This is the proper solution, the correct solution for uh, dividing fractions. Okay. For those who don't have their books, please copy sa notebook. So this will serve as your reviewer na. Okay. Equal. So, simplify lang natin. Okay? Copy. 12 over 14. Tapos, invert lang natin or reciprocate yung divisor or yung second given fraction. Okay? Okay, by dividing both by 6, comes 2, and then, same with 7 and 14, 1 is 1, 2, equals 2 over 2, or 1. Okay. If numerator is the same as your denominator, then... The answer is 1. Like example, if you are given 1 million as your denominator, same with 1 million as your denominator, then the answer here is also 1. Okay? Correct. Yeah. It is 1. 